Welcome back to the channel, I'm Kay the Guy. In this video, I'll explain in detail how to build an auto watering drip system for your garden. We'll go over the planning portion, building the controls for each box, assembly of the lines and connections, and final programming and testing of our system, giving us the ability to have hands-free self-watering system for our home food production. We have multiple beds we are supplying water for, so we need to know what to build where so we can have specific controls for each box. This is nice because although the system will give us consistent watering, some plants in some of the boxes will need more water than others. This allows us to water some of the plants we already have growing, like our tomatoes, more than some of the smaller seedlings that were just germinated like our cucumbers. We have eight boxes in total, with two of them separated from the first six, so we'll have to have two end valves on the system. Be sure to use the timestamps below to browse through any of the tutorial sections. Each box is just under 11 inches. So that's approximately how long we want the controls to each box. We'll need a ball valve to turn water on and off, two male thread to male barbs, with an elbow at one end and a T at the other. I'm using number 10 hose clamps to fasten the poly tubing together, and remember the clamps only need to be tight enough not to leak, any more and they could crack. If you need something to help you put the barb into the poly tubing, I suggest a rubber hammer. After assembly of just one, repeat. A lot of the parts needed can be purchased from the local hardware store, but I'll also add them in the description below. Now I have 8 boxes so I'll need 2 that are elbows to dead end the water flow. Once I have all my controls completed, I can now lay out each one and configure my lines. Layout is important because you'll know at that time if you need something additional to complete any connections. You'll also find out if you screwed up any of your controls at this point too. After the last two controls are in place, now we have to assemble the front flow setup. The front flow consists of a garden hose adapter, a three quarter to half bushing, a one way valve, another coupler, pressure reducer, and barb fitting. This unit will make sure the pressure in the system doesn't bleed back into the house and stays consistent at 30 PSI. As I measure and connect the poly tubing to each box, I'll secure them with a clamp. Clamping after I've connected the tubing makes the whole process much easier. Now that the first leg on the boxes are done, I connect the T-fitting to the lower two boxes. These are the last two boxes and the lower leg of the system. 
We typically like to add our heat loving plants down here at the bottom as they get full sun with no shade from any nearby trees. Last one. And I screwed it up. Alright, there's the end. That's why we needed the elbow to terminate that. Elbow there, T there, out for that box. And we already went over leg one. Now it's time to add the drip hoses to the boxes. I'll add one additional elbow to the control and clamp on my poly tubing and bend the end and secure with some tape. You can also use a plug and clamp. Once you have your three-quarter tubing, you can configure the quarter-inch drip line however you like depending on the number of plants or rows you plan on having in each box. Before testing, I just add the splitter on the house so I can also do any manual watering. Setup on the timer is pretty straightforward and you can kick on water with just the touch of a button. I have an old hose that I could either use as an adapter or just cut the hose to size and add my barb, which I had some leaks so that was what I decided to do anyway. Finally, I kick on my water, test my fittings for leaks, and make sure the drip lines are running. If you guys have any questions from the build or are looking for any of the parts, check below. Thanks guys for joining and we'll see you in the next one.